Today I'm reviewing Demonic Supremacy. So you kind of got to be a fan of Doom Eternal and like it on Hurt Me Plenty or Nightmare in order to play this game. The game is fairly challenging. You get a hundred floors. The weird thing about this game is like the progression level of the floors in far as difficulty. It doesn't progress like difficulty one tier floor, difficulty two uh, tier two. It can jump from like difficulty two to difficulty four, to back to three, back to one. So it is kind of weird in that regard. You get a couple of different guns, but every stage is a challenge. So every stage will start you off with a different amount of health, a different uh, weapon loadout. This one, you got to kill a bunch of arachnids, and pretty much the idea is you got three of them on the stage at all times. So you kind of just run a square and know where they all at. You get a lot of evades, which generally help, but for the most part, it's just like a challenge for each stage. Just each stage has to be beat in a different manner. Some you'll hold out for so many seconds, you move to a next position. This one, you're constantly basically running a square. The game is only seven bucks. You get power ups, you get, uh, you can buy to help you beat the stage now in order to buy these power-ups you need to beat a previous stage and collect the coins from the monsters now if you die you do keep your coins so that is good not really a deal breaker but it would suck if you like save coins on earlier missions and didn't get to use them for the harder ones but it's pretty cool, not bad for 7 bucks. If this game was more, wouldn't really be worth it. But if you like these uh, trial stages, then this is a pretty cool 7 buck game. Now this is only stage 4, um, replaying this one, because it actually is a pretty challenging Stage 4, like I said, uh, difficulty does go uh, random kind of by stage. It's not progression, so you won't see uh, your difficulty progression go up as you complete stages. It's kind of just 100 trials, which is interesting. Not for all players, definitely not for all players, but... You get a hundred trials and you just got to beat a hundred trials. So I do like that. I know a lot of people would like to see the progression of the difficulty, like it scale up as you complete stages. But for me, I could take it or leave it. I would like, uh, the sensitivity adjustment where I can increase my horizontal but not my vertical as much but because it's one in one I have it on a little slow at the moment I haven't really got used to the higher sensitivity yet I imagine this game will be a lot easier on PC versus console for the point and click Especially when moving fast through the environment for some of these stages. Some of the other ones are more strategic. Where you just have to know uh, how long you should hold down a position. And mow them down. And when to go to the next position. And then you get some stages like this. Where it's more evade through the map. And take them out strategically. I kind of thought I only had one left, but I might have been wrong and just taking a lot of damage there for no reason. Let's see if this is the last dude. Nope. Definitely not.
Should be able to still pull off the win. I don't think there are that many dudes left. Also, some boards have like chests like this where you can get uh, more coins or power ups. And there it is, level completed. Here we have the power ups you can buy. Now, this will apply to one board. You can survive if your HP falls below zero. Start off with extra ammo. The Dominator, which kills all enemies instantly, you get to start with that, and your rage bar fills faster. Allows you to restore health by collecting coins, increases dash range, and reduces energy consumption, increases the power of the demonic screen and, and its cooldown, and doubles the amount of coins and attracts them. So you can get a decent amount of coins just by completing one of the easier missions and then buy a bonus uh, for the mission you're struggling on. You get... 100 stages i haven't done that many of these yet but it is pretty cool like you get these different trials every one is different you start with different amount of life and weapon loadout for each one like uh this one right here we start with 500 minigun rounds and plasma rounds once again, if you're not a fan of Doom Eternal and playing on minimum, hurt me plenty, and more likely Nightmare, you're probably not going to like this game. But if you do, you can look at this game as the largest mini game in Doom Eternal that never existed. It's kind of like a massive, kind of slightly less graphics than next gen trial stage with like a Doom Eternal feel to it. If you liked the video, leave a like, comment, share. It helps others find the video. I hope this helped.